Welcome friends, I am Tonmoy. So I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and History of Molecules. So today I shall explain about some example regarding Wolf arrangement and R Weistrad reaction. This is a continuation lecture. Previously two video I have uploaded about the basic and mechanism of R Weistrad reaction and Wolf arrangement. So I suggest you please go through those two video first after that come to this. And currently I am trying to prepare little small small videos because some people have requested, means some of you have requested to reduce the size because it's difficult for you to read compared to 20 minutes or more than that video. So that's why I'm splitting small small, so it is helpful for you, I expect. So please write, uh, reply your comment about my this initiation. So let's start. So this examples we are going to discuss. First example, if you can see, it's a very simple example. It's a naphthoic acid, derivative of benzoic, benzoic acid type. In place of thionyl chloride and heat, first it converted into acid chloride. Then diazomethane, in presence of excess in ether, uh, is used to prepare the diazo ketone. What do I mean by diazo ketone? Diazo ketone is, for example, if we take acid, then this RCOCl, this Cl reacts with this CH2N2 and diazomethane actually looks like this. So this can act as both nucleophile as well as base. So at this situation, it, it acts as a nucleophile, means attack in this position. So it produces CH2N2. In second stage, it acts as a base to abstract one proton from here. And because these two are acidic enough, due to this withdrawing effect of nitrogen as well as these and uh, carbonyl and finally the produced anion is resonance stabilized by the conjunction with nitrogen as well as this carbon. So that is the reason it produces this uh, diazoketone ketone and after that in presence of silver oxide this is a wolf rearrangement condition means this group migrates and finally this group and it produces a reactive intermediate which is ketene. Ketene means R C H C double bond O and this undergo reaction in for example any nucleophile alcohol amine or water can attack here and produce this and this so ultimately it produces higher analog of carboxylic acid where this carbon is coming from diazomethan so this is the basic in very short so it produces this acid after that similar condition was utilized for this reaction. What does do I mean? Means everything. So this reacts means previously I have seen one part. If it is dicarboxylic acid, reaction is also same and this is coming from diazomethan. Purpose of giving you the problem to know that homologation of dicarboxylic acid which could be achieved using this R diester reaction procedure. And how this obtained? This is obtained from cyclohexanone oxidation. Okay, so in this way, this is right now, it is. it was 1,6, this is right now 1,8, uh, so if we continue this process further, we may have 1,10, in this way, the higher mole of carboxylic acid will be prepared. Okay, oh, fine. Now, the next problem is about little, I, I believe it a little different, different, and lots of purposes in there. You can see here, first, this, it's a carbonate ester is re reactive. Why? Because you can see this is a an this is an amino acid. This is phenyl alanine. This is phenyl alanine. So what happens that first this amine group is blocked. Okay. So first this amine group is blocked using this uh, this reagent. So nitrogen attacks and ultimately blocks. And okay, if made mistake, it should be first this here one thing here it is not good to use thionyl chloride type reagent because this is an asymmetric center so for that purpose it is better to use relatively mild uh, reagent like oxalyl chloride even we can use the Bock chloride means tertiary butyl this side and this side is chloride so this reagents would be used for far first step that is the acid chloride preparation okay and second step is this diazomethane activation and everything follows same way to produce ultimately one unit of homologous enhancement of this carboxylic acid and this group could be removed by treatment of acid like t 
TFA. So in this way, amino acid homologation could be achieved. Okay, fine. So the, uh, the next example you can see from a cyclic means a simple cyclic compound, a spiro compound is produced. Okay, so this is this is literally tricky. I mean, what happens here? We know that this will eliminate under silver oxide this that is a wolf reagent. So eliminate to produce. So it will produce this car carbon, dichlorocarbon and another thing finally it will result in the preparation of ketene C double bond O ok finally this ketene is produced and here yes, is pyro center means quaternary center generated how actually we told this is the electrophilic center so what happened nucleophile will attack and we have observed that only the solvent molecules at, at, attacks but instead of that some internal nucleophile can attack. For example, this carbonyl, uh, some amount of this reagent remains in enol form, and enol is more nucleophilic because of the first one is it is double bond, then it is conjugated with the electron negative or electron pushing oxygen. So what happened? This attacks. And if you check the ring, means attacking means if this attacks, this oxygen comes here, so bond will form with this. So one, two, three, four, five. So in this way, five member ring form forms, and we know five member ring formation is little bit easier. So what happens after that? It produces, as I I suggest you to do follow this numbering procedure. It will reduce the chance of mistake. I have seen the five member ring will form. Okay, fine. Five member ring from this position, the extreme carbon will be carbonyl carbon. From in this way, extreme carbon will be carbon. Okay, fine. So we can observe not only we can see that not only uh, carboxylic acid, this pyrimidine ketone could be produced using this uh, wolf reagent. Okay, the next example you can see this example here the this diazoketone is reacted with formic acid. What happens? This we know this actually this is a carbonyl. So I I agree that this negative charge is delocalized with this carbonyl as well as diazo group, but this negative charge actually resides on carbon and formic acid is relatively strong acid. So what happened? This part is protonated first. This right now, this is so if we compare the stability of this versus this, this is relatively more unstable because and another thing, this carbon is attached to both a very good leaving group and another thing electron withdrawing nature nitrogen because if it leaves it produces nitrogen gas which is stable go outside second it is attached to the carbonyl also and another thing we know that alpha halocarbon is more susceptible nucleophilic attack i have made a video on it uh, while alpha halocarbons are more efficient in substitution reaction i suggest you please go through that video so what happens after this right now this is a very good electrophilic center so what happened in formic acid medium actually it's an aqueous formic acid so water is there so this water attacks here and another thing it leaves so ultimately in this way it produces the alpha hydroxy carbonyl so previously i have explained if we don't use excess diazomethane we uh, get we get alpha halocarbonyl so here we are observing that we can get also alpha hydroxy carbon. So this is the versatility of this method. So I shall discuss these three examples. First example is actually the optically active center. Means I, if, I in my previous video I have explained that wool free arrangement proceeds through a retention in configuration during the migration of the alkyl group. Here, when this nitrogen will be eliminated means it will produce that ketene means first stage it will eliminate in terms of the silver at least and it will produce a ketene intermediate means first it's a radical and another thing after that C double bond O and this is obtained by the migration migration means C this R CO CO this N minus plus so it migrates this migrates and during this migration this migrates with this bond pair okay and that's why the retention in configuration observed means the asymmetry is 
she is preserved. Okay. Okay. In the second example, this is actually this is a problem appeared in CSI December 2012 exam about group three and nine. What is the product after this? Okay. So first of all, it is a silver oxide H new means it will produce the radical means ketene. And second is methanol. So methanol will be added to that ketene. Here previous example I have used water. That's why I got acid. Okay. If I have used methanol, then I would have been Achieved methyl ester, okay, because ketene will add to methanol. So what happened after here? So initially it will produce this. So after rearrangement it will produce this ketene, okay. And this rearrangement is re with retention in configuration I have explained already. So here methanol will be added means this methanol, this hydrogen will go here and this OME will be attached to this carbon. So the final product will be methyl, methyl is upper CH2 CO OME. This is a ester. Okay. So retention in configuration at this center. Okay. The final hmm, uh, problem it is little complicated. Means what will be obtained after the treatment of this material with light or if we say light along in presence of water. So what happens? First of all, this will produce this carbon type. We can consider like that it leaves. If it leaves, it will produce this. So second step, what will happen? It will come here, it will go here. So ultimately, this is the important step that is ring contraction. So so here five member will be reduced to sorry six member will be reduced to five member. I suggest you to write as it is in order to avoid the mistake. Okay. Okay. So this here this is a double bond. So another one bond is formed. See with this. So let me if I draw it properly. This is a five member ring. This is a five member ring along with that. We can draw it here because no substitution is there. This and this. And this is we know that if we add water, you can keep this factor in mind. OH versus H. H will be added to this. OH, because OH will add to here. After that, H will come here. So, these will produce. So, cyclopentane carboxylic acid. So, this will free element is another smart technique that can convert this cyclohexane. Uh, cyclohexane this as I into the cyclopentane carboxy cyclopentane carboxylic acid. So these are all the examples regarding this full free arrangement as well as Arnstadt reaction. So I believe you have understood. If it is helpful for you, please give me a like and share this video among your friends such that many people will be benefited from my effort. And please subscribe my channel Instead and History of Molecule and press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. So see you in my next video.